Mr. Macron visited Calais today and met with refugees and toured a welcome centre as the migrant crisis escalates. Despite the new hardline on immigrants, the president vowed to protect those in need, but said Britain must do more to help. Speaking passionately to the security forces, he said, we can integrate those who come from countries at peace, but our duty is to protect those who are persecuted and we are seeking asylum. A person who fees his country at war should not have to face the roads of misery and sometimes the violence of slavery. We must help the countries of origin and transit. France and for Macron spoke to security forces during a visit to Calais. Calais should not be a back door to England. President Macron, those who are here and elsewhere in Europe must be protected in the face of persecution, the leader vowed to protect the security of the port and stressed that Calais should not be a back door to England, vowing that another jungle would not be built in Calais, adding the fundamental task is to ensure the security of the Calais port and channel tunnel, the president explained the jungle could no longer exist as it is a stalemate and offered a clear alternative for each people to be placed into a hostile land. Their asylum status considered. Reuters Macron met and spoke with refugees in the town. He said France will take care of distributing food and meals but in an organized way, and there would be measures taken to help refugees integrate and adapt to French society. Mr. Macron also slammed lies of brutal treatment in the port, but promised unethical behavior from police would not be tolerated. After the visit, the president tweeted, message of solidarity and recognition. To the inhabitants of this beautiful city of Calais. They deserve, and we owe them, Reuters the French president visited. A welcome center today also took time to thank the volunteers in Calais, saying, your commitment is the spark that you turn on to help and save others. This afternoon the French premier visited Calais to take stock of the pressure on the channel port ahead of a summit with Prime Minister Theresa May this week. He spent time in a welcome center and visited a new structure built to house migrants waiting to hear their asylum status. Mr. Macron is expected to unveil a new migrant policy next month which will see the asylum application process sped up and the faster removal of those whose application is rejected. France and for Macron, but there would not be another jungle in Calais or Thursday. He will travel to the UK where he is expected to demand the government to do more to help with the problem. The Elise A.A. Palace said, ways to improve the handling of migrants on the common border in Calais will be discussed at the summit. Minister of the Interior Gerard Colomb told France too he promised to ask the British government to help Calais develop. He and the Prime Minister will discuss the Le 2K Accord, a 2003 treaty which effectively allows Britain to establish its border in France, and France to run its border checks in Britain, en Orkin. Cas now sni laser on sin stall at un nouvelle jungle a Calais. Pig.twitter.com zu 3 mhqjnmg Emmanuel Macron at Emmanuel Macron January 16, 2018 French officials believe the accord favours Britain and has contributed to the gathering of migrants to Calais, the closest point to the UK's shores, from Calais, many try to jump on trucks and trains going under the channel into Britain, just 30 kilometres 20 miles away. At the meeting with May, Macron is expected to push for a new additional protocol to supplement the Le Touquet Treaty that would involve Britain paying more to France for border security and accepting more asylum seekers. He is also to ask the UK to allow in unaccompanied children and adults with family members already in the country, and for more money to help with border security. Getty M. R. Macron met with volunteers and asylum seeker this afternoon Thursday, November 16, 2017. Protesters clash with riot police officers. Macron's government is drafting legislation to tighten immigration rules, in part a response to soaring asylum requests. Last year there were more than 100,000 applications, a record high. A further 85,000 people were reportedly stopped at the French borders and refused entry. Mr. Macron is to meet representatives from the 1,000 strong police and gendarmerie forces deployed at the Channel Port to secure the border. A statement from the police AA said Mr. Macron would stress authorities must act with respect for the rights of migrants and good 
policing practice. Two NGOs in Calais refused to meet the president in protest at his strict new measures, Natasha Bouchard. The right-wing mayor of Calais told BFM television yesterday that the local population was tired of the situation and expected a lot from the president's visit.